Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a slightly different style of video for what I produce anyway. You see, every weekend I see that even though we're in mid-November, there are still ridiculous amount of cars in and around central London. So instead of looking for another weekend at other people's posts, I thought I'd jump in my car, go for a drive, seeing as it's a nice afternoon, and see what we can spot from the comfort of my bar. So I'm here now, thought I'd just point the cameras forwards and at myself for any reactions, see what we can find, and just, yeah, go for a bit of a spontaneous drive while the sun is still out and the weather's all right. First trial run, let's see how we get on with the cars that we can spot. Let's try this way. I know that there have been good cars out. Knowing my luck, there won't be the same level while we're driving around, but it's worth giving it a shot anyway in case something special pops up. Before we rolled the cameras, I saw a Singer in my rearview mirror. I tried to guess which way it would go so I could stop and kind of follow it to start the video. As you can see by the lack of Singer in the introduction, that didn't work, but I still have faith that we'll see some cool stuff kicking things off. I've done a bit of cheating here. I have already done a loop round here. I've got an amazing looking performante with the bronze wheels and satin orange. I mean, it might be orange paint and then satin PPF, but it looks cool either way. Look at the exhaust on that M5. Oh, okay. So I can see A12, A12 GTS. Very cool number plate as well. Aside from supercars, I don't know if you can see that. Jesus. There's a Polo with a lot of modification done to it, probably not by choice because it looks like it's been crashed into quite badly, which is it's actually quite sad. Probably just parked there and then someone else has hit it. Oh my god. Literally the entire rear quarter, I know it's a really bad camera skills, but it's all mounted to my dashboard. That is huge damage. Ooh, that is cool. Brabus G-Wagon. All the extra lights, the kit, that, that makes, oh, but I hate when they don't have the real wheel. I don't know, that's a pet peeve of mine. But I'm just being fussy, and who cares what I think, because I can't afford one. So, his car, his choice. because I've heard news there's something very special under those lights just there so I'll park around the corner so we can check it out on foot because this one is very cool so I think it's safe to say the quality of cars has significantly improved in this video just with these two alone 6x6 and matching Chiron these cars have been in London before and no matter when they come they still manage to draw a crowd from every single passerby I mean it's not a subtle sort of pairing is it and how else can you really drive around in your Chiron if you don't have a 6x6 bodyguard it's just ridiculous to see on the streets and just comparing I'll overlay some proper footage because obviously it's hard to walk around all these people but just comparing the height of the wheel arches here to the Chiron roof line. It's fairly ridiculous and they're both spec'd really well so a nice addition and a nice way to kind of improve what we've seen so far. Half carbon bodied Chiron exposed there. It looks so so cool. Cool spec, 
600 LT on the side. I brought my window down just in case you could hear a little bit of it, but it's crazy with these modern supercars, all the Valvetronic systems that they offer. My car's making more noise which makes me look obnoxious and like I'm overcompensating for something, but his is pretty silent. I mean, it makes it a good tool to be able to use in and around town and then make as much noise as you like when you're out and we've lost him. Okay, I'm gonna follow him around that way because I've seen something else that I wanna get on camera actually. Around the other side here. Yeah. Okay, we've caught up with him anyway. London traffic, you can be on a bicycle and you're as quick as the fastest car in front of you but round the other side, it's a hot hatch that, I mean, there was a lot of hype. I probably missed that boat, but they're still trading for Rovers and they are still very cool. You see it. Okay, and we've got another 3 rs so I'll leave that one and we'll follow this one instead. No, but what I was actually coming around here to show you was that, the GR Yaris. Look how fat the arches are at the back. I think they've done a really cool job of making that so different to the standard Yaris. I'm going to leave that now and head in this direction, even though we've just had GT3 RS after GT3 RS kind of thrown at us. I think we'll have more luck if we try something different down here. I'm cheating a little bit. I know there's a specific car in a specific location that should be there, that should make the video a bit more interesting. So we're gonna try that now. I don't know if you can see that there, we've got a GTC4 Lusa, I think the V8, and was that McLaren GT? I don't know if I'm more shocked that I've seen one or more shocked that someone's bought one, to be honest. I, I mean, I've really not seen that many of those since they launched. They did launch quite a while ago. Ah, oh, I don't think there's anything there. I'm going to try this way just in case. There's meant to be. There isn't. Okay, so just to give you perspective, right here on my left, I have seen photos of a Carrera GT back to back with the Lexus LFA, but of course that's not going to be here today, so we have not managed to see that instead of seeing a Levante. Oh, as there's another one coming as well. Great. What you get on this channel is not quite the same as the others anymore. Let's try right. Oh, okay. Everything's just conveniently placing itself in front of us so far. And everything is so quiet. I should not be making more noise than a hurricane. It's not been the most successful. We did see that A12, A12, F12, which was unreal, especially after all these silent supercars we followed. I hope gave you an idea of some of the cars around at this time of year even. I mean, to see all of that in such a short amount of time, really I haven't cut too much. It is crazy. What you can see in this city, the amount of money flying about. Yeah, it's cool cars all the time. Just have to know where to find it. And clearly, I'm out of practice. But that means there's scope for improvement and future episodes to come, hopefully. So let me know if you think this was a good concept, obviously stolen from people that I've watched before but if you like the idea of me just driving around seeing what I can find if you want me to do another video in the future just let me know and I'm sure that can be arranged. Oh there's a hurricane going past. Silently. Okay <laughs> I take that back. Yeah I think that's as good a place as any to be honest to end the video. Comment below, leave a like, stay subscribed and hopefully there'll be more content like this to come very soon on the channel. Take care guys.